the mammoth mogul, a plane that had a great concept, but sadly horrible execution. Now this plane right here is based on the Beechcraft Model 18, and in real life this plane actually holds 6 to 11 people, it can hold that much, but in GTA Online it only holds 3. It holds the pilot, the passenger, and the gunner. Now. It does have Jado, which is great because this plane takes forever to just get ready to take off. So it can all, it can turn on while you're using Jado, so that's great. Quick uh, takeoff. So there you go. It has great weaponry, so it has like the turrets on top. It comes with a single nose machine gun in front of the plane on the nose, and you can put it to you can upgrade it to like a dual nose machine gun. So you can fire two. And the same thing with the turret on top, it holds one, but you can upgrade it to two. And they're alright, they're not that bad. I mean, the machine guns and the turrets do a great deal of damage, so that's great. But the cannons and the machine and the turrets on top are both non explosive, you cannot upgrade into explosive. So if you're a fan of explosive cannons, this is not the aircraft for you. This aircraft is just non explosive aircraft, so. Yeah, if you want to buy this aircraft thinking that you could put like explosive cannons on it, yeah, no, you can't. Now, besides that, there's a few catches. Now, one thing that does kind of bother me about this aircraft is the stats. Like, the weapons are great, but everything else is, is kind of garbage. Like, the looks are great, it has great weaponry, but the stats itself, the acceleration, the speed, the agility, all of it is just pure crap. It has terrible acceleration besides the Jado. Once you're in the air, you cannot activate Jado again, so yeah, uh, the acceleration is crap. The top speed, unless you're at high altitude, is crap. And it literally cannot avoid a homing missile unless you're like, they fire like they're really far away and you can do like a little evasive maneuver, then you can avoid it. But if they're like on your ass, yeah, good luck. There's no way you're avoiding a missile. And that's literally coming from the low end missiles like the Buzzard and the thruster, those type of missiles, yeah, it cannot even avoid those. And that kind of sucks. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. You have no speed. And most of the fights that happen in this game, especially in 2020 nowadays where everybody's in an Impressor Mark II, or any weaponized vehicle that has great missiles, yeah, it's just not gonna happen. So, yeah, uh, I guess this is a good aircraft for dealing with NPCs and everything. For example, I'm, I'm literally fighting these guys alone, these NPCs. I don't have a turret gunner. And... Yeah, it's not that bad. Like, th this is good for like practicing, having fun, just fucking around, but... If it comes to like, actually seriously using it for PvP, the only thing I might recommend you is putting chaff and always using Ghost Sword while using this thing, because there's just no way you're just gonna kill somebody legit. Because all they're going to do is just pull out anything that has a homing missile and you're done. Even if they're on the ground and they have the homing launcher, you're kind of screwed. So, yeah. Sadly, you're going to have to deal with that. And, yeah, overall, this thing, the way I would say, it's an insurgent, but it failed to be an insurgent. Because the insurgent is kind of fast, and it has a lot of armor. And this thing is supposed to be the insurgent of the sky. But it has barely any armor, and it's really hard to aim a target. Like, especially if you have like a horrible communication with the pilot, and you're the gunner. Yeah, there's just no way you're gonna hit something. And, yeah, this thing is kind of slow too, so... Yeah, that's another downside, but overall, do I recommend buying this aircraft? I would say yes. It's a good buy, but... Just make sure you buy when it's on sale, and make sure you have everything that you always wanted. This is just one of those aircraft that you buy for fun. Once you have like everything in the game and you just want to like, like experiment or something. Yeah, I would say buy it, if it's that type of uh, situation. But if you want to buy like thinking like one of your first aircraft, then no, don't buy it. And yeah, overall this is a good aircraft to have fun. Like you could get yourself uh, with a gunner, get on both have like the headset and talking party chat or game chat have a lot of fun going ghosts kill people because if you go on the radar they're just gonna shoot homie launchers at you and there's just no way you can avoid it unless you you have like players or chaff and you know how to fly properly then yeah but 
overall for the casual player, I would say buy it. But like I said, just wait sure until you have everything in the game. And you can actually have a lot of fun. Make sure you have a second player. But, I don't know. You can also have a lot of fun flying with it solo. Just practicing when shooting people with the machine guns. You can get creative with the kills. So, I don't know. Do you guys make your own decisions? I already told you my recommendation if you guys want to buy it or not. And yeah, give me your opinions on the mogul. What do you guys think of this plane? In my opinion, this is a very fun aircraft that sadly got ruined by homing missiles. But yeah, in my opinion, it needs a buff. So maybe give it like a armor buff. Like I think it's fine the way it is in terms of speed and everything else. But just give it like an armor buff. It definitely needs more homing rocket hits. I would say give it maybe be give it Avenger level armor. Honestly, it needs that. And yeah, overall, that's my review of the Mogul. What do you guys think of the Mogul? And hopefully you guys have enjoyed and. Let me know what other aircraft you want me to review. I was thinking the Tula, but... Oh, that was a voice crack and a half. I was thinking the Tula. Tula? Tula. Whatever. You guys can let me know what aircraft you guys want me to do next. I'm thinking the Tula, so... Yeah, I'm gonna go with that unless you guys want me to make something else. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.